Now, the managing director of the National Inland Waterways Authority, Niwa, George Mogalu, has revealed that there is need to open up the waterways as a means of transportation for heavy carriage. The managing director made this known while receiving members of the House of Representatives had a committee on mass transit in Abuja yesterday. The MD stated that despite challenges faced by the sector, there are remedies to address them. He sought for adequate resources to ensure training of local boat riders on safety protocols during water travels. Let me also let this committee know that if all our channels are open, you can access 28 of our 36 days by water so that we can move persons and cargo by water. Like you also pointed out, our road infrastructure is not designed to carry the weight they are carrying. There's every need for us to open up the channels. In Niwa today, we do what we call maintenance dredging. So that's the source that we use, monitor them. Whenever we see any siltation, we send in our dredgers, the in-house dredgers, to go and open them so that we can have uh, pass easy passage. But there is need for capital dredging. Like Chairman also mentioned, the, the, the tourism potentials are quite enormous. But you have to make sure that the channels are open, vessels are moving. Then you can now talk about exploring the potentials of the tourism sector. The waterway sector is quite interesting. So the idea of moving from, like Chairman said, from local jail to nature is a very welcome development. The chairman of the committee, Afam Ogene, speaking at the COT CV said that the waterways would be utmost benefit to Nigeria if properly unnest, as it will cushion the effect of subsidy removal and also add to the progress of mass transits in Nigeria. As a house, we are inaugurated on June 13, 2023. And barely one month after, on July 18, the House, following the successful debate on a motion to investigate why previous mass transit schemes failed and also provide solutions for a more sustainable, enduring, and affordable means of transportation in the, our country. And when we talk about mass transportation, we are talking about the roads, the rail, and the waterways. And so with that mandate from the House, our duty is not just to look at why previous ones failed. NIWA should be a critical beneficiary of any further scheme, any further mass transportation scheme. But I think that with a well-regulated ferry transportation, it will even boost tourism. Beyond the movement of people, people would like to travel by water. Once the facilities, life jackets, you have life boys on the waterways and security, people will travel. And I'm told that on the sea there is no traffic snack. 